All right, what is going on guys? Today, it's Brad and Kyle, and we have another ball review for you guys. But this ball has a lot of special things. Today, we're talking about the Roto Grip Duo. A lot of cool things with this ball, Brad. Love this ball. We'll see you in a second. All right, Brad, we have the duo. There's a lot of cool things happening with this bone ball. Lay it out for us, what we got? All right, so the coolest thing is it's a collaboration with two different entities. The Shafani Show, which if you're not aware of them, they are Stephanie be. Johnson, you absolutely should be, and uh, uh, Shannon O'Keefe. They call themselves the Shafani Show, and then they are in collaboration with Rotogrip, their sponsors for this new ball called the Duo. Now the really cool thing is they're also collaborating with Big Brothers and Big Sisters. So 5% of every sale of this bowling ball is going to Big Brothers and Big Sisters. So just, it's an amazing collaboration all around. All right, Kyle, so what else do we have going on with this bowling ball? Well, you know, I'm not really a big numbers guy and what cover stock is on what and this and that. So I think we should throw some shots. Let's do it. Try to give it all, you know, the flat 10, the dead flush, the trip four. I'm trying to show you guys all the hits. Oh yeah. Oh, sometimes you just know. Just know. Oh yeah. Oh! Dude, I thought that was in the gutter. I don't I even know how you got that back. I know we get paid to say this, but I'm kind of excited about this ball. <laughs> Dumbo would have struck <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. All right, so let's get into the numbers. Ah, let's just talk about the ball a little bit, all right? So what we have is a symmetrical bowling ball with a Microtrax Pearl cover on it. What does that mean, Kyle? Uh, that means it's going to be clean. <laughs> it's going to be clean. Um, from what I'm seeing right now is that it's not as weak as you know some of our other like weaker symmetrical balls. Now we haven't thrown it against them yet, which we will in a second. Yep. But like, I so for me when I look at bowling balls, you know, there's numbers and everything. You get a you get a general idea, but I have to throw them just to see what they're actually doing on the lane. So for me, this ball is clean. We're bowling on a we're bowling on Montreal, so it's like a 41 foot. Uh, not the hardest sport pattern, but still has some ratio out there. Yep. And um, to me, this is clean, but it's still reading a little bit in the mid lane. Like it's not super whippy. And you can see from that last shot, uh, we can open the lane up pretty good with this ball. So. Yeah, and that Michael Trax Pearl cover stock was on a ball that we've thrown a lot, actually, the Exotic Gym. So as professionals, that's kind no of what we look like. like it. You know, what's the cover? Have we thrown the cover before? Have we thrown the core before? Now I believe the core is brand new amongst the HP3 Roto Grip line. So you have the gym and the exotic gym HP4, and then you have the this line, which has the Cosmos and uh, something else, but it's the step under the highest performance line that Roto Grip offers. The thing about Pearl cover stocks is, you know, you don't want it to go 60 feet. You know, the point of a Pearl cover stock is for it to get uh, farther down the lane before it starts to pick up and hook uh, we have it on our weaker bowling balls. And the last thing you want to see is a ball go all the way down to the pins like a polyester ball 
So this one isn't like that. It actually reads the mid lane, this cover, the exotic gem reads the mid lane really well. And so that's what we're excited about is the combination of a symmetric core, new, but symmetric core that we love to throw. We love the phase twos, we love these phase fives. We'll go down to a hustle link, you love the Zen. Um, these pearl symmetric bowling balls are big and important in people's arsenal. So yeah, so let's uh let's throw these against a couple other like symmetrical pearl hybrid stuff. We have we have a phase five and we have a zen. So let's throw them against them and see like what it does comparatively. And those two balls should be relatively the closest bowling balls that we throw to this ball. Okay. So now that was what was that around 19 to yeah. Six, seven. Yep. Went through the pins, kind of got around it a little bit. Want me to throw the Zen right now? Go ahead. I'm going to throw the Zen. I'm going to do the exact same thing. We haven't thrown the Zen yet. Uh, I guess the technical difference between the balls is the Zen and the Phase 5 have a little bit more differential, a little bit more flair. So technically, a hair stronger. Hair stronger. Ooh, I think I messed up drilling the duo because this Zen feels long. All right, we're doing the same thing. Euros. But still. So pretty, actually, kind of similar. Yeah, kind of similar. It's kind of hard to tell the difference in those two reactions. Let me throw this in again. Yeah, keep throwing. Sometimes when you got it, you just got it. <laughs> well, you can see from that shot that the Zen goes a lot straighter. <laughs> the Zen's a plastic ball. Dude, what happened there? Uh, I think you just missed it at the bottom. Did I? I think so. I think I hit it so hard that... Uh, I think we overhyped the fact, the diff. I think you were thinking it was going to overflare. And... I think I hit it. I had so many revolutions on that ball that it just kept hydroplaning down the lane. Yeah, that's what we'll go with. That's what we'll go with. All right. Let's throw this in one more. There you go. All right, so now... We're getting into the farther left part of the lane. I want you to throw the duo from what duo you're right there. Right there. Mm. So two thoughts. The cover is older, but the Zen for me, especially like the last few months I've thrown it, is gotten a little earlier and stand up. Like it's not as clean through it. So part of what's happening too is it could be like burning up a little bit. Covers old. It's just a smoother bowling ball, but. You can definitely tell that ball has no problem hooking from there. Yeah, and I think the point of the Zen, they say on the website the, the core is like the largest core they've made. It's it's meant to roll yeah. quite a bit early. And when you see bail down lane like that, it's a lot of times it's just too early to roll out. It's just too early to roll out. So uh, that's kind of nice about the duo. It's uh, a little bit weaker. Hey, man, that's pretty I exciting think. to see, actually. Right, so now we got the Phase 5. Yeah, let's let's see you compare. So Brad's going to compare the duo and the Phase 5. The right Phase now. 5 was actually identical numbers to the Zen, except uh, different core, different cover, for sure. So, actually, can we throw the duo first? Yeah, let's throw the duo and then right. throw the Phase 5 right off of it. Oh, oh! That's the Shafani show ball right there. That's the Shafani hits. That's how Shannon gets all those titles, man. Golly. We're gonna do that again. Because Kyle has absolutely chopped yeah, this, that one this lane. That one so, hooked, not gonna lie. I'm gonna move two, we're gonna hit about 22. We're gonna get in there. Oh, oh a little hop, skip, and a jump! Dude. All right, we're close. That was, uh, cannot been sitting a minute. <laughs> yeah, I... that was a Belmo trip four right there. All right, so now go to the phase five. You only throw, try and go flush. All right, well, let's throw the phase five. So the phase five, because in theory, it should be a little cleaner, right? Should be a little cleaner. Maybe it'll be dead flush right there little, with any luck. A little stronger, so it should roll out a little bit more. So yeah. All right, twenty-two. Definitely got through that spot. Way cleaner. Wow, that was cleaner. I'll wow. reset it for you. Dad, did you throw that one good? It looked all right. It looked okay. Maybe it wasn't, uh, uh, I don't think it was the greatest shot, 
but it was noticeable how, I don't know the right word, quicker, it kind of hydroplane through there, it just got down lane. Well, it was like, Much I'm quicker. looking at that spot about 30 feet down the lane that that ball is definitely reading, and that one, when it got to it, it just kind of went through it. So let's just throw another one. Yeah, I'll come out with it. Oh, yeah. Look at that, your own personal Take little it. ball oh, wiper. Oh, man, you got my spare for me. Just gotta there take care go. of them, you know? All right, a little more oomph. Still cleaner. Now, I've thrown this phase five a lot, same deal as the Zen, I think. Yeah. We, I threw the phase five a lot at the World Series, which we just got back from, so. All right, so we, we did a little review. Let's show the layouts that we got going on here. Right. So, mine is pretty standard, pin above middle finger. Um, it's about five and a quarter away from my axis. It's kind of what I like to drill all my symmetrical stuff. What is your axis? Uh, like four and a half over, okay. inch and a I was wondering. quarter so, up. Yeah, I basically drill it the same way. This is a standard drill for me. It's above the uh, ring. His is normally above the middle. So that, that makes sense. This pap's a little closer than mine. This ball is also flaring quite a bit. It is, and it's reminding me of the Disturb, the colors of it. And I like the little pink outline of the duo. Uh, anyway, I mean, when it comes to a symmetrical pearl, man, they're important, especially when we bowl against high rev guys, the lanes break down a lot. You need pearlized bowling balls in your bag. And, you uh, have to. You have to. So just another great addition, another great collaboration. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about this because you do, it's just the ball you get left with. It kind of blends out the middle part of the lane and you can, and look, there's a ton of friction. You just get left and see how much it can hook. Yeah, and we, we've hit light, we've sent it out the door and it came back, we've pulled it, it's tripped the four. I mean, that's that's really what you're looking for in a bowling ball is like, can it give you off hits? And so far today in this video, we've gotten a lot of off hits, so it's a good sign. So is that a wrap? It's a wrap. That's a wrap. Listen, Let's guys, go get the duo, not only because it's a, I think it's going to be a great bowling ball, but because it's supporting a great cause. Remember, 5% of the sales are going to big brothers, big sisters. Support them. Support the support the Shafani show. Go follow them on Instagram. The PWBA is about to start up. Uh, Stephanie Johnson, Shannon O'Keefe, awesome people, and uh, awesome ambassadors for the sport. So thank you for this ball. That's a duo bringing you the duo. We're not the duo, but we're a duo bringing a them duo. the duo. <laughs> Have a go, guys. See ya. <laughs>